What is going on, girl guys and gals? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Today's video is going to be a uh, flower room reset. Pretty much everything it takes to reset your flower room. Nice clean area is number one. So that's your first tip. But yeah, today's video is going to be all about that. Discount codes below for lights, tents, rosin presses, equipment, all sorts of stuff. If you don't see it, hit me up. Um, First off, I want to say a huge, huge thank you to everybody that supports me. Um, it really means a lot to me. Thank you all so much for all your comments, likes, support. Huge, huge, huge thank you for that because uh, it's why I do it. So just going to go through and show everything I'm going to be doing to uh, switch in the flower. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the family. We do all sorts of fun stuff. Make sure to hit that notifications bell. If you've been here and you have not hit that notifications bell, please do so now. So that way you can get notified when uh, I drop my videos. But yeah, we're going to do a flower room reset. So we're taking everything out of the Viper Spectra um, room. As you can see here, we did a defoliation on everything. Um, we cleaned our flower room completely. I'm going to do some preventative maintenance because you guys know, and girls, last time um, I was running into some aphid problems. So what I'm doing here is I have a little bit of neem oil, some soap, some alcohol in a thing. I'm just doing some preventative spraying before I move anything into the flower room. Make sure I don't bring anything in there because um, I am starting out completely clean. So I can't do my runs every 30 days in one room because I figured out if you run into an aphid problem and you're doing two runs in the same room and you clean one side and you still have some flowering they'll just move to that side and then if you want to take those ones out and you have other ones in there flowering they just move around so it's better just to clear out the room completely um, so I'm giving a huge nice big spray down getting underneath the leaves everywhere just in case there is anything I haven't seen anything but just in case it's better safe than star you want to start out flower super healthy um, so that is exactly what I'm doing here. Just soaking everybody. I'm also doing some preventative maintenance, bought some more ladybugs, um, just in case going to let them free in there. So, uh, be sure to, you'll see that in the end, but, um, more preventative maintenance. I'm also setting up and getting ready for my next one while I'm doing this. Cause, uh, if you're starting from seed, it takes about two months for a plant to mature. So here's some of the beautiful flowers that we had from last round. If you did not see that grow, go check it out. The Ethos Run. This is also some ILGM in my hand. So we have Ethos is the purpler one and the ILGM is the greener one. That's that cheese, that good funkiness. But uh, using strawberry fields on top, I'm not transplanting. I just left a little bit of room on top of my five-gallon buckets for new soil. And I'm going to use the fruit and flower dry amendments. Um, so it's going to be super simple grow. All I'm going to do here is I'm going to add my uh, happy frog. And I'm just going to scratch into the surface, read the directions. That's uh, just some... Um, neem seed stuff on the bottom of there that I also put really good for rooting and whatnot um, don't worry about getting anything on these bottom leaves because you are going to be stripping that bottom portion when you flip in the flower I do anyways personally so all that stuff here in a couple days will be getting stripped off um, I'm just going to go ahead and scratch this into the surface like it says move it all around get it all in there this is our dry amendment so it'll be slowly breaking down and then i'm just going to take some of that uh strawberry fields which also has a lot of good stuff for flowering and i am going to just put it on top of what i just now scratched in so this should give us a really good base um this should all be all we have to do uh, i'll add some molasses later on and maybe one more round of the dry amendments depending on the plants, but that's it. So once we have all that, we're going to flip them in here to our really nice, clean um, grow areas for flower. And if you have any other tips, tricks, anything you do for flower room, please leave us down in the comments. We're all about growing, supporting, like, so let's interact with each other. Uh, if you do anything else that I didn't show, make sure to let me know. But yeah, I'm going to take our little butterflies here now. And, uh, sorry, not our butterflies, our ladybugs. And we're just going to go ahead and wake them up and uh, itch them out of the plants. I did create a little home for them in here. So, uh, once they all come, then they'll start doing their thing. But this is how I transition the flower. Really important. 
super clean new surface to start flowering in. Um, ladybug or yeah, ladybugs are optional. Um, I am going to do a stripping and I'm also going to take my clones. Um, so just in case there's anything that comes out really, really nice and I want to keep it. So I hope this was informative. I hope this shows you what I go through to try to uh, switch in the flower. It's not super easy, but it's not super tough. So let me know if you liked the video. Uh, as always, do something good for somebody. Have an awesome day and uh, take it easy.